Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Supreme Bronze Palette by Artist Couture. I'm super excited to show you guys this palette, the swatches, and do some looks with it. So let's go ahead and get started. I wasn't actually sure if I was going to be reviewing this palette or not, but I went to Sephora today and I was looking at this one and also the brunette palette by Mel Cosmetics. I decided to grab this one instead of that one because the color story in this one attracted me a lot more and when I swatched it in store, the swatches felt so creamy. So I've never tried the Artist Couture formula before. I am beyond excited to play with it and see what the brand, the packaging, the formulas, the blendability, all of that is all about. To tell you guys whether or not it's worth it, of course I'm linking the palette and everything else that I'm using in this video down in the description box. So if you guys are interested in buying anything, definitely check out my links down there. On the Sephora website it says it is an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette made up of 12 richly pigmented modern bronze shades in three different finishes. Redefine the concept of bronze with this lavish palette that's sure to reign supreme amongst the rest. The palette features six buttery mattes, three richly pigmented metallics, and three multi-dimensional high pearl finishes in an array of bronze, cool, and warm tones. These shades have been carefully curated to design anything from wearable day looks to dramatic evening looks. Take your artistry to the next level and transform your eyes with this versatile glow getter approved palette something i immediately noticed and really loved about this packaging was how thin it is it feels luxe it feels kind of weighted for how small the palette is i feel like this would be a very easy to travel with um palette because it's not too big also not too small you definitely get every shade that you would need in here this would be a great palette for like a summer vacation or actually year round because i feel like these shades you can definitely wear year round i'm thinking summer because like it does have the bronzy shades with the beautiful metallic so it would definitely be a really good summer vacation palette um but look at how thin it is and the packaging is really nice and sturdy so i feel like you would be very safe to travel with this one let me show you guys the swatches i was very impressed with how buttery all of the shimmers and the dual chrome shades were here's the color Mirage, which is a beautiful base sandy shade. Then we have the color Topless, which is a very nice cool tone brown. The color Glisten, which I am dying to do a look with because it just looks like a beautiful dark pewter shimmer shade. And then the color Shady, which seems like a really nice black. Not too intimidating, but it still packs a punch. Going on to the second row, we have the color sand, which looks like a beautiful inner corner color or just a color to brighten up any eye look. The color HBIC, which is a really nice bronzy gold shade. The color gilded looks like a dark yellower type of a gold. And then the color tantalize, which feels like the most buttery one of them all. Last row, we have the color Sunkiss, which is like a burnt orange type of shade. Toasty is a neutral to warm, medium tone nude color. Soleil, which is a beautiful light yellow gold shade. And lastly, Baked, which is the most beautiful dark brown. This is what they all look like swatch. I was very impressed with how these shades swatched. Again, I had never tried this formula before, so I was very impressed at how creamy and luxurious all of the formulas felt in here. Let's go ahead and play with this palette. I'll just get you guys a little closer. I wanna do this first impression style, so I'm not going to be super up close to the camera. I have my refer number 27 here, and I'm going to go into the color Mirage. I forgot to prep my eyes, hold on. That was the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. Okay, I'm going to use that color Mirage as my transition shade. I got a little more of it. And I'm back and forth blending it on the crease. Same brush, I'm going into the color Toasty. And I'm starting on the outer corner and blending it inwards and upwards on the crease. As you can see, these are all blending super beautifully and so fast too. 
I can't believe I had never tried these eyeshadows before. I feel like I've heard a lot about them. I want to do a warm toned look and then I'm going to do a cool toned look on the other eye. I want to continue to darken up that outer corner so I'm switching to my refer number one. This is a pinched blending brush so I can get a little closer and darken up that outer corner easily. And I'm going to do the color Bait. And I'm just patting it on the outermost corner of the eye. After the color is in place, I'm going to start blending it upwards by doing little circles around the edges. With the same brush, I'm going to bring that color down on the lower lash line. Halfway through my under eye. Just moving my brush back and forth. I wiped off the brush a little bit and I'm going back to Toasty and mixing it with Mirage. Both of these because I want it to be more of a transition shade and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line and go all the way in. That is looking pretty fabulous. So I'm going to go into Tantalize because this was the shade that made me want this palette and it sounds crazy because it's like a bronzy shade but it was so smooth <laughs> do that one kind of from the center of the eye outwards into that outer corner smokiness that I created yeah just like that that looks so nice I want to try the dual chrome shade so I'm going to go into HBIC I think this is just kind of like a lighter bronzy with some gold sparkles in it and I'm going to take it in all the way to the inner corner. This one's a little more sparkly, which is really pretty. Look at the little gold flecks. I'm grabbing my refer number 28 and the color Sand. And that's going to be my inner corner shade right here. Okay, so that is the warm look right there. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. Now, I was thinking about what made this palette special, right? And I love that, for instance, I just created a really nice, warm, bronzy look with it, which I can do with a lot of the different palettes in my collection. Granted, I could do a look pretty spot on like this one with my bronze palette from Natasha Denona, for instance, but I feel like that one is just bronze, right? And this one, you have a row at the top that also has cool tones in it, so you can get really nice, glamorous, cool tone looks with this one too, besides bronzy looks. So I feel like that kind of sets this one apart a little bit. So thinking back to your collection, you can see whether you have a palette that has this type of versatility and that will help you determine whether you need it or not, you know? So let's go ahead and start on this eye and I'm going to do Mirage first once again. This is the refer number 15 brush and this is going to be my transition color. So I'm just blending it back and forth, a nice light wash of it. And then I'm going to go into the color Topless and this is going to be the crease shade. So I'm going to back and forth blended on the crease and I'm first doing some windshield wiper motions. I just tuck my nail in one of the shades. I love it when that happens. I grabbed some more topless and now I'm doing little circles around the crease because we want to diffuse it upwards. Little circle and windshield wiper motions all at the same time. Okay, now that's nicely diffused upwards there. I still have some patches right here, but I'm going to cover those with another shade, so I'm not worried. I just wanted that to be nice and diffused, and we got there. Of course, I'm going to go into the color Glistening right here. I'm patting it with my finger because I want it to be nice and intense. I've gone back to the pan like three times to build it. That is so beautiful. With my refer number 14 brush, because I need something a little smaller, I'm going to go into the color Topless once again. And I'm going to build it a little darker around that shimmer. The number 14 brush from Refer is perfect for when you want to control where you place a shade that you want to blend. I'm going to add some more of it to the outer corner. And I'm going to grab the color Shady with it and place it on the outer corner as well to darken things up. Back with the number 15, which was my initial fluffy brush. I'm just going to run it on this upper side right here to make sure things are blending nicely. 
I think that looks lovely, but now the shimmer is kind of diffused a little bit. So we're going back to the shimmer and repacking it on the eyelid. Doesn't that look like the most fun, glamorous party look ever? I love it. For the under eye, I grabbed the black matte shade and I'm going to run it underneath. This is the refer number three, which is a small pointed pencil brush. And then with the number 13, I'm mixing Topless and Mirage and smoking that out. I got quite a little bit of fallout. Let me see. Oh, and it's not coming off because I had not powdered. <laughs> in a while. I think I definitely recommend doing the eyes first with this palette and then going on with your complexion products because that is a lot of fallout from that glisten glitter specifically. How about this side? I didn't have any issues on this side. This side looks good. It's just that, gl it's just that glisten shade and of course it didn't help that I pressed it on and then blended around it and then pressed it on again because when I blended around it the first time um, it made it dust off even more. I'm going to do a black eyeliner in the waterline of both eye looks. Okay, I just put mascara on my lash extensions. I'm not doing very well with these. Um, don't ask me for any lash extensions advice. I have none. <laughs> Here's what the party look is like right now. Um, again, the only issue I had with it was the fallout. I would definitely do my eyes first before putting any makeup on the face because it is going to be a little bit of an issue. But other than that, I was actually very surprised that not more people talk about this palette and like the formula. The formula I found was really good. It wasn't overly dusty. It has a really nice amount of pigment. It blends beautifully. I feel like whenever I hear people talk about artist couture, it's usually big influencers who are friends with McDaddy, I believe is his name, that is the owner of the brand. And I don't hear other people that are not like friends with him talk about it as much. I don't know if that makes sense, but like I don't feel like this is hyped up enough. I feel like it deserves a little bit more hype than it has. By the way, it does have a really nice mirror too, but I decided to leave the film on it because that way I don't glare at the camera with my mirror. This is definitely by no means a unique or like special color story. I know that I definitely have these shades in my collection a million times, but whenever I review a palette, I feel like I don't think about my collection to tell you whether or not you need it because I don't know how many palettes you have at home. This might be one of your first palettes that you're interested in. So to summarize everything, if you've been thinking about it, if you're interested in this color story, if you've been on the hunt for a palette that has warm tones and cool tones, I think this is a palette that is definitely worth a shot. And I think the packaging is definitely like one of my favorite things about it because it is so sleek, so beautiful, very fingerprinty, but I feel like they all are. <laughs> Slick, beautiful, very travel friendly, very easy to open and close because it doesn't have a clasp. It has really strong magnets. And I feel like this would be a really nice palette to take with you on the go if you're in need of one. I felt like I needed a little bit of lipstick and blush to say goodbye to you guys. So overall, I actually really like and recommend this palette. It's $42, which is the same price or maybe even cheaper than Anastasia's palettes are. I feel like it has a very similar amount of shades to those and the packaging is much better. So I do like it. I think it is very fair for the price and if you've been interested in it, I recommend it. I hope that you guys liked this video. So don't forget if you're interested in anything to check out my links down below. I love you guys so much. I hope that this video was helpful if you were interested in this palette. And yeah, I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.